新宿思い出横丁ガイド8 recommended is a kaya サムライ・ジュンジロー・チャンネル Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. This video is about 新宿思い出横丁 We'll introduce eight izakayas, including historic ones and popular yakitori restaurants. We also share ways for those who don't drink alcohol to enjoy, so please watch until the end. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Shinjuku Station. In this video, we'll explain in 10 sections. We'll show you 23 dishes, so stay tuned. Now, let's head to our destination from Shinjuku Station. The closest ticket gate there is the Central West Gate. The Central West Gate is located on the basement first floor of Shinjuku Station. Once you exit the ticket gate and proceed, you see the stairs to the ground level, so please go up. This is the Shinjuku Station West Exit. Once you go up the stairs, turn right and head towards the direction of the big Uniqlo sign. After about a 3 minute walk, you see the sign for Omoide Yokocho. When you turn right, you'll arrive. This is Shinjuku Omoide Yokocho. It's been an izakaya alley since around 1964. In this area, there are over 80 shops, with about 60 of them being restaurants. It's a popular area where you can enjoy delicious food along with drinks. Omoide Yokocho is divided into two alleys, each with a different atmosphere depending on the alley. This narrow street has many small shops, and there are plenty of cozy places that have a friendly Japanese atmosphere. The street on the railroad side has many shops with tables outside, and it has an open atmosphere where you can enjoy food and drinks. By the way, even if you don't drink alcohol, it's not a problem at Omoide Yokocho. Almost all of the shops offer soft drinks like Coke, so you can also enjoy the food without having to drink alcohol. Alright, we'll introduce 8 recommended restaurants. First, let us introduce this place, Yoro no Taki. It's a popular izakaya chain with over 200 locations all over Japan. The first floor mainly has counter seats, and the second floor has table seating. Well, let's order some dishes. The menu is in English, so it's easy to understand. It's also convenient to choose because there are pictures of the dishes. Before eating, let's have a beer first. Cheers! The glass is chilled, so it tastes even better. Besides beer and sake, this izakaya offers five different types of soft drinks as well. First, we'll have this dish. It has a nice aroma because the beef is grilled with miso. The salad is topped with sesame dressing. The texture and sweetness of the sesame enhance the flavor of the vegetables. The beef is tender and juicy. The rich miso seasoning makes it an excellent match with alcohol. Next up is the menchikatsu. They fry it after you order, so you can enjoy it piping hot. You can eat it as it is, but we recommend putting some sauce on it. The meat juices spread in your mouth. It also contains onions, so it has a slightly sweet taste. If you like spicy food, try adding some karashi, Japanese mustard. The spiciness enhances the flavor and makes it even more delicious. Alright, let's move on to the next place. Next, let us introduce this place, Iroha. It's a specialized restaurant for beef tan dishes that opened in 2018. With three floors, it's a relatively large izakaya in this area. At this izakaya, you place orders by scanning QR codes with your smartphone. Please note that you need to pre register for the commonly used messaging app, LINE, in Japan. 
It supports languages other than Japanese and has pictures of dishes, making it easy to understand. For those who don't want to add the app, please use Google Translate to look at the Japanese menu and place orders. First, we'll have some drinks. The drinks we'll have at this place are salted lemon sour and coke highball, which is mixed with whiskey and coke. Besides alcohol, there are also 10 types of soft drinks available. By the way, This izakaya offers an appetizer called otoshi as the first item. The dish combines root vegetable leaves with plum and bonito flakes. The sourness of the plum is refreshing. This is bamboo shoots seasoned with a bit of spiciness. They have a crunchy texture. The dishes we ordered have arrived. It's a potato salad with potatoes and carrots mixed with mayonnaise. In this izakaya, they include small cut beef tan in it. The mayonnaise is creamy and the scent of black pepper has a nice accent. The texture and fat of the beef tan make it even more delicious. It's also recommended to eat it with mustard. This potato salad is more luxurious compared to other places. Next up is the beef tan. The fatty part of the beef tongue is cut thickly. It's moist and tender. It has just the right amount of fat and it's juicy. It's delicious as it is, but we also recommend trying it with a miso sauce containing green chili pepper. The spiciness of the green chili pepper and the savory flavor of the miso enhance the taste of the beef tongue even more. After finishing the meal, You make the payment process using your smartphone. Now, let's move on to the next place. Next, let us introduce Horaya. It's a historic yakitori specialty shop that was founded in 1947. A popular izakaya where you can enjoy yakitori cooked over charcoal along with drinks. In addition to yakitori, there's a wide variety of menu items. This shop's website can be changed into languages other than Japanese. It includes photos, making it easy to choose dishes, so be sure to check it out. There's a link to the website in the description box. The first dish is motoyaki, which is especially popular at this place. This is hatsu, the heart of a beef, grilled over charcoal. This place uses fresh meat, so there's no odor. The crunchy texture is addictive. The sauce is a bit spicy and has a strong flavor, so it goes well with alcohol. Next up is Motsuni. This is a classic dish at izakayas where pork offal is simmered in miso. The meat is cooked slowly, so it's soft and melts in your mouth. The sweetness of the miso and the texture of the green onions are nice. Oh, right. Let's move on to the next place. The next place we introduce is Banshakuya. This izakaya has both counter seats and table seats, and there are also tables outside. It's required to place an order for one dish and one drink per person. It's great that the menu is written in English. The drinks have arrived. We'll be having beer and alcohol containing plum. The plum is mashed before drinking. The sourness of the plum has a nice accent and a refreshing taste. For those who don't like strong alcohol, peach flavored alcohol is recommended. The sweet peach aroma spreads in your mouth. You don't really taste the alcohol much, so it's easy to drink. Otoshi has arrived. This is Kimpira Gobo. A dish of burdock and carrot seasoned with soy sauce and sesame oil. The crunchy texture is nice. The kelp stems are seasoned with a bit of spiciness, making it a great match for the drinks. Our order has arrived. This is abraage, fried tofu seasoned with miso. It has a great aroma of miso and bonito flakes. The outside is crispy and inside is moist. It adds the sweetness of miso. 
the texture of the green onions as a nice accent. Next up is sushi. The scallop is seared and seasoned with butter. The sweet flavor and tender texture are great. The aroma of butter spreads in your mouth. Well, let's move on to the next place. The next restaurant is Jonet Hormon. It's a popular yakiniku restaurant with over 70 locations across Japan. Its affordable prices make it a popular restaurant among Japanese. You can enjoy authentic yakiniku cooked over charcoal. Orders can be placed using a touch screen. In addition to Japanese, you can also switch to English, Chinese, or Korean. Two types of wagyu have arrived. It's belly meat and short ribs. It's beautifully marbled meat. Let's start by grilling the belly meat. Grilling it over charcoal makes the meat even more tender. There's a savory aroma. Dip it in the sauce and eat it. It's moist and tender. The flavor of the meat is rich. The sauce is fruity and makes the meat even more delicious. Next up to grill is the short ribs. There's fat on it, so we'll grill it carefully to avoid burning. It melts in your mouth. It's fatty, but it's wagyu, so it doesn't have a strong flavor and the aftertaste is refreshing. We'll use this meat to make another dish. At this restaurant, they have a set to make rice burgers. With onions and lettuce included, you can easily make a rice burger. Once you mix the sauce and mayonnaise, dip the freshly grilled short ribs in the sauce. Place the meat between the rice and the Wagyu rice burger is ready. The richly flavored short ribs and rice are a perfect match. The texture of onions and lettuce has a nice accent. Be sure to try the luxurious rice burger. Next up is this place, Yasube. It's an izakaya where you can enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine. There's an English menu available and the restaurant's website has photos of the dishes so it's easy to understand. There's a link to the website in the description box. We'll introduce two particularly recommended dishes. First, we'll have the Niku Tofu. It's a dish made by simmering beef tofu and shirataki konyaku noodles with soy sauce and sugar. It's been cooked for a long time, so the flavors have soaked into the tofu. The beef has fat and melts in your mouth. The texture of the shirataki has a nice touch. The sweet seasoning goes well with alcohol. Next up is the saikoyaki of silver cod. This is the most popular dish in the restaurant. The fish is marinated in miso and sake before being grilled, enhancing its natural sweetness. It has rich fat and melts in your mouth. For those who love fish, this is a highly recommended dish. Now, let's head to the next place. Next up is Isuzu. It's an izakaya specialized in yakitori with a history of over 70 years. They grill fresh meat after taking the order. The first floor has only counter seats, but the second floor has table seats. You can also come in a group without any worries. The menu is also available in English, which is nice. The drinks have arrived. We'll have an alcohol with a shiso flavor in the highball made by mixing whiskey with carbonated water. The shiso alcohol has a subtle sweetness but it has a refreshing aftertaste. The Otoshi has arrived. This is Atsuage. The tofu is sliced thicker and deep fried compared to the Abraage we had earlier, so you can feel the texture of the tofu even more. All right, let's enjoy some freshly grilled yakitori. This time, we chose a set of five. Let us briefly explain each one. This is kashira, which is pork cheek meat. It has just the right amount of fat and has a crunchy texture. Next is chicken thigh meat. It's tender and juicy. 
This is pork liver. It might not look so good, but it's a perfect match with the sweet sauce and goes well with drink. This is Hatsu pork heart meat. It has a good amount of tenderness and a rich flavor. This is Tsunagimo, which is a gizzard part of the chicken. It has a crunchy texture and it's recommended to eat it with a sprinkle of salt. It's a recommended place for those who want to enjoy delicious yakitori. Finally, let us introduce you to this restaurant, Gifuya. In this restaurant, you can enjoy Chinese cuisine with Japanese style variations. For your information, it gets crowded between 7 pm and 8 pm, so we recommend coming around 4 pm or 9 pm. This restaurant doesn't have an English menu, so it's better to use Google Translate. Also, they don't have picture of the dishes. So, we recommend checking out gourmet websites that Japanese people often use. There's a link to the website in the description box. If you use the translation feature on your smartphone, you'll be able to read more easily. At this restaurant, we'll introduce six recommended dishes. When introducing the dishes, we give both the English and Japanese menu names, so if you show this screen to the staff, You should be able to place your order smoothly. Please feel free to use it. First, let's start with a dish that goes well with beer. It's freshly grilled dumplings. These dumplings are a large size, so they are satisfying. Dip them in a sauce made by combining chili oil and soy sauce. The outside of the skin is crispy, and the inside is chewy. The savory juices of the meat and the sweetness of the cabbage spread throughout your mouth. There's a lot of garlic and ginger, so it has an addictive taste. Next up is the kanitama. It's made by cooking eggs with finely shredded crab meat and green onions, then putting a sweet sauce containing vinegar on it. The sauce is sweet and has a nice aroma. The aroma and sweetness of the crab are also wonderful. The texture of the green onions has a nice accent. The fluffy texture is addictive. Next up is the stir fried liver. It's a dish made by stir frying pork liver, bean sprouts, Chinese chives, and carrots with seasonings such as soy sauce. The pork liver is tender and moist. The crispy texture of the vegetables is enjoyable. It's seasoned with strong flavors, so it goes well with beer. Next, we'll have the recommended menu item fried rice. It's a popular menu item that many customers order. It's a great deal as it comes with a soy flavored soup. The taste is refreshing. The fried rice is stir fried quickly over high heat. Giving it a fluffy texture. The fluffy texture of the eggs and the texture of the green onions enhance the deliciousness. Next up is the ramen. Soy flavored soup is a classic taste in Japan. The chashu pork is fatty and juicy. The noodles are thick and chewy. It is a kind of ramen you crave after having a drink. Finally, The dish we'd like to highly recommend is the tanmen. It's a salt flavored noodle dish topped with stir fried vegetables and pork. The umami of the vegetables and the richness of the pork fat are soaking into the soup. The soup looks light because it's clear, but it has a salty and rich flavor. The aftertaste is refreshing. The vegetables are crispy and have a great texture. It's a perfect combination with a salt flavored soup. The noodles are coated with the soup and it's delicious. It's a highly recommended dish, so please give it a try. Lastly, we'll share some tips to help you enjoy Shinjuku Omoide Yokocho even more. Some restaurants in this area open from around 11 am, but most open around 4 pm or 5 pm. The closing days vary for each restaurant. In Japanese izakayas, many places serve an appetizer called otoshi. The otoshi often includes a cover charge, 
so the fee is automatically added and you can cancel it in most places. There are few shops in this area that accept Suica cards. More than half of the shops accept credit cards, but there are also some where they are not accepted, so you should carry cash. The alley is narrow, so it's difficult to walk with a suitcase. There are coin lockers available, so it's better to use them if you have luggage. There are many shops where taking photos or videos is not allowed, so if you want to take pictures, please ask the staff at the shop. There are also many shops where those under 20 years old can't enter, so if you plan to come with family, please check before entering. Shinjuku Omoide Yokocho is a place where even those who don't drink alcohol can enjoy, so give it a try. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.